Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm just going to be doing part one of this battle royale style game. Um, so there's probably in the title you've already read that what we're going to be doing. So I mean, if you haven't seen this game, I will link the sneak peek in the description. But yeah, let's get to it. Um, so I have an empty, you know, scratch project. I just open scratch desktop. Um, so it's going to go ahead and, you know, rename this to player right now i'm just gonna keep the scratch cat but you could draw your own art and do it i'm not gonna be doing that right now but yeah that's about the player um now we're gonna draw another one this one we're just gonna name it map right this is gonna be a scrolling level so it's gonna be massive so first of all i'm just gonna name this um um let's just name this yeah no big deal. Um, so we're just gonna um, yeah, we're just gonna start with let's let's just draw a tree or something. Fill. I'm just gonna change the fill to red. Saturation. Yeah, you can you can just adjust the colors a bit and yeah, I think this looks like a pretty cool tree stump tree trunk. You know. Then we're gonna go fill. Um, we're probably gonna take a darkish green yeah that looks pretty good i'm just gonna i don't really do a, do a lot of art in this channel so i mean um okay this looks pretty good we're gonna select the whole thing we're gonna group it and then now this is basically one sprite so now i can move this sprite around so this is probably going to be too big for my map. So I'm just going to shrink this down a lot. I'm going to select this copy paste. And this is probably going to be my map. Um, it's just a part of my map. Now again, I'm just going to put a circle. I'm going to you know, change the color of the watery lake I'm about to draw. Yeah, now I know this looks pretty solid, but don't worry about it. I'm going to change it. So you can see this tool right here. It's called reshape right next to the selection tool. Um, so you can add points in between and then you can reshape it however you want by dragging these points. Um, this is all just tips for scratches because I haven't really shown off a lot of art making stuff in my you know, channel just yet. So I'm just going to make this a squiggly blob. I'm going to keep this... Um, bit smaller but this is gonna be a pool you know a lake or something gonna copy paste this and we're probably gonna keep one right here again I'm just gonna reshape it a bit because I don't want to keep having a similar looking thing just you know make it as quickly as you want make the map as you wish um yeah that's about it for my map right now so I'm gonna go here you could also do this go to the backdrop backdrops convert to bitmap and we're gonna fill it with a light green color looks pretty much like a grass thing right yeah that looks pretty good i like that um so let's go to the map this is too small of a map right i don't really like this is too small we're gonna go to events when flag clicked and we're gonna set the size so go to looks set size to Probably set it to around seven fifty percent. Okay, that's that that doesn't really look like seven fifty percent, and I'll explain why. But we're gonna paint another sprite. So if you probably realize by now, I'm just gonna rename this to dot. This definitely is not seven fifty percent. So now I'm just gonna go to yeah, let's convert to bitmap. I'm just gonna draw an extremely tiny dot right so the way scratch works it, it has a limit on how big you can make it so we're gonna exploit this not exploit this is just a you know glitch and it's really helpful we're gonna first switch costume to the dot right so the dot size can be set to 750 percent then we're gonna switch costume to map and it's yeah okay um i, I can't really see what's gone what's happened um right i can't really see anything happening so we're just gonna start with the code so we're gonna put in forever if then 
you know we're going to go to sensing key right arrow pressed now the way this works is the character is going to be staying still the whole time the character is going to be staying still but the map is going to be moving according to what we do so now we're going to go to change x by and this one we're actually going to make it minus 10 right so when i'm what happens is the screen is moving backward and basically it's shifting towards the right side so it looks like it's actually moving right it looks like a character is moving right at least if left arrow pressed oops left arrow going to change x by 10 um yeah we're just going to duplicate all of this again up arrow down arrow and we're going to remove this x change y by 10 change y by 10. this one up arrow is going to be minus 10 again just now if you want to move around a bit and look okay there we go i found my tree and as you can see it's working oh what okay we're not supposed to be doing that um yeah this player i'm just gonna go to the player i'm just gonna set size and go to zero zero right set size to about i don't like 100 probably 75 percent we're gonna go to zero zero yeah that, that looks pretty big enough um yeah i don't want it to be a passing through these trees so what we're gonna do is that's why i haven't filled this map do not fill this map with any sort of color if you fill this map with a color then the sprite won't walk at all but this is how we're gonna do it if then we're gonna take an if we're gonna duplicate this change x by 10 and we're gonna say touching player so this code is in the map and we're just going to duplicate this a bunch of times first i'm just going to duplicate it once right now and i'm going to rename to minus 10. so after this change x by minus 10 if touching player change x by 10. so this is just for the right arrow within the if right arrow change x by minus 10 if touching player change x by 10. and i mean i'm just going to duplicate this remove this change x and I'm gonna do this, yeah. Now again, duplicate this change y by. I'm just gonna duplicate this block again. So if you wanna right click it, then you can duplicate it. You'll get that menu. If touching player change y by 10, touching player change y by minus 10. Now again, we're just gonna run this code. And as you can see, I'm clearly not touching this tree. No way, it's not happening. I'm just spam clicking this. So it doesn't work. So there we go. The map has been pretty much done. Um, you can reposition it. I'm just showing it off like this. Um, but that's going to do it for the player and the map. I think the last thing we're going to cover in today's video is probably going to be the loot box. So it's going to paint loot box. Whoops. Undo that. Um, we're again just going to take this. We're going to fill it with a similar looking brown color. Possibly slightly redder. Um, and we're just going to take this, draw a black line to make it look like a chest. Um, I think that looks pretty good, right? I don't really know if that's too bad. Select the whole thing, group. And I'm just going to shrink it down a bit. Shrink it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Just going to center it. And I think that's going to be about it for the, um, you know, the loot box costume. But the code is going to be pretty big. So get ready for this. We're going to go when, when flag clicked. And we're going to have to do some other stuff with the costume. Okay, I'm sorry about this. Um, so we're going to rename the first one to... We're just not going to rename it anything just yet. We're going to, I'm just going to do serif font, you can change the font. Um, okay, yeah, sorry about that. We're going to have to change the color to black. I'm just going to use black. You can use any fancy color you like. Um, but when you do that, we're going to have to write some stuff. So plus 30 health. I'm just going to center it. Again, we're just going to duplicate this. 
tax change this tax to plus 50 health this is just the way my game is gonna work you could also change it back to full health again we're just gonna select these just make sure they're centered so they don't look weird and everything again so now you could rename these for ease of use but yeah so we're gonna go go back to code sorry about that again when flag clicked we're gonna go to switch costume to costume one because costume one is my barrel and we're going to um, make some variables i'm just gonna re delete this variable make a bunch of variables first of all loot box available that's my first variable loot x loot y so, yeah so these are my three loot variables um first we're gonna set loot box available to zero so set loot box available to zero in this case i'm making it mean that the loot box is not created it's not generated so then what we're going to do is forever we're gonna say wait until loot box available equals zero so that's gonna make it um, yeah loot box wait until loot box available equals zero so basically whenever the loot box be becomes available not away unavailable we're going to broadcast a new message gonna new message called loot box create yes broadcast loot loot box create and we're going to set loot box available to one because once we've created a loot box the loot box loot box is generated right so now what we're going to do is when i receive loot box create we're going to do the big code part here switch costume to costume one again just in case we're going to show uh, yeah it's going to be looks show set lutex and set loot y we're not going to set it to zero but we're going to do some stuff we're going to use the pick random again i'm just going to set lutex to pick random minus 400 to 400 that's what my game used and again i'm just going to duplicate this for the second time yeah you can leave it like this only i don't mind 400 minus 400 to 400 we're going to use go to and we're going to use lutex and loot y instead of x and y in the values of x and y so let's say this picks minus 400 and 400 it's going to go to x minus 400 y 400 that's going to be in the top left corner so if you keep scrolling up and left you're going to find that box this is just an example we're going to go to forever this is where the looping part comes forever if touching map this is a very precautionary part so you know sometimes this loot box could generate on your tree or something like that so forever if touching map we're going to hide sorry hide and we're going to set loot box available to zero and we're going to go to control stop this script not stop all stop this script um, but apart from that we have a bunch of other if loops so if conditionals first of all we need a go to x y again but this one is a little you know different we're going to go to plus we're going to use two plus operators yeah now we're going to go to sensing we're going to use 
uh, scroll down backdrop number of stage we're going to change this to map and we're going to change this to yeah x position it's going to duplicate this one more time and we're going to use y position so we're going to go to x position of map plus loot x we're going to go to y position of map plus loot y so yeah it's gone somewhere down there now the annoying part is if you keep scrolling up like this this is stuck in your corner and that doesn't look good at all so we're going to use an if else to change that a bit if else if not touching edge if not touching edge then we're going to show and in the else we're going to use hide okay that looks pretty clean um just gonna keep scroll wow it yeah you can see it's pretty smooth um yeah now we just gotta make it so that if touching player we gotta do what it should do <laughs> so if touching player then we're going to do like this sorry if touching player then switch costume to pick random two to five i think um yeah it's two to five which means if no it's two to four for this but as you can see in the video if you've seen the video you'll know that i've done something else too and that's my damage doubler so again we're just gonna quickly say damage doubled okay yep damage doubled so now that we know what's going on over here damage doubled we're gonna change it from pick random two to five so based on the last these four costumes not the first one two to five pick random two to five picks one of the random costumes and switches the costume to that then it broadcasts a new message called which power up message which power up so broadcast which power up this is going to be another thing in our loot box code we're going to wait one and a half seconds just keep a bit of a delay for this um, for the computer to you know calculate which power up it's going to be we're going to hide and loot box available to zero hide set loot box available to zero so now i think yeah that's about the you know this code now another few pieces of code are left before i can end this video when i receive uh, not loot box create which power up we're going to use if else's and ifs if then um you know we're going to say power up equals one sorry um we're gonna have to make another variable called power up so when flag clicked in the upper part here we're gonna set power up to zero because there's there's no power up that means there's no power up available power up to zero when i receive which power up if sorry not power up equal. i'm gonna go to looks costume number equal to and we're gonna just put this here costume number equals to two we're gonna duplicate this and put this in the else we're gonna duplicate it one final time sorry two more times in this this and lastly we're gonna put an if again so now if costume number equals to two else if costume number equals three else if it's equal to four 
Oh, never mind. We didn't need to duplicate it so many times. Okay, I'm sorry with the mess ups, guys. So the last one, we're going to put an if and we're just going to add this. We're going to remove this extra if else. Then we're going to go to five. So now we're going to set power up to one. Now again, we're just going to duplicate this and set it to two. Duplicate it again, set it to three. Duplicate it for the last time and set it to four. Now the damage doubler, we will work on that in the next episode when we add the shooting mechanics. But for now, we are going to add some, uh, you know, other parts. When I receive which power up, we're going to wait 0.2 seconds. Just a quick time for the computer to do it. Um, we're going to wait for 0.2 seconds. If then power up equals two. If power up equals two, then again, we're going to do another variable called health. Okay, health. When flag click, we're going to set health to 100. For my game, it was 100. If power up equals two, we're going to do another if else. We're going to duplicate this. But the last one, we're just going to remove this if else completely. Now, if power up equals two, if power up equals three, if power up equals four. Now, the second one is a 30 health, um, you know, increase. So we're going to check if health is, um, you know, greater than 70. So if the health is greater than 70 and we add 30 health, then it's going to make the health more than 100, which should not be a feature in the game. So we're going to just do like this. If the health is greater than 70 and the power up is 2, we're going to set health to 100 directly. Again, same logic for power up 3, but I'll just come back to that. Duplicate this here again. If health greater than 50, because this one's a 50 health increase. Set health. Else. If it's not greater than that, then we're just going to change health by 30 and again change by 50 directly. And lastly, we're just going to duplicate the set health to 100 because the last, uh, you know, power up is a full heal. Directly, we're just going to set it to 100 health. So you can, you know, close all of this. For now, I'm just going to open loot X and loot Y so that we can, like, you know, tell exactly where it is okay another thing we should probably do is go to the map and say go to zero zero um because that's kind of like a necessity you know go to zero zero so the loot x is minus 250 so we're just going to scroll to the left and we're going to go up it I yeah, probably over scrolled. I don't think I should have gone that far. Um, okay, I'm just gonna again minus 68. It's probably not really that far. So I'm just gonna um. Um, one should be somewhere around here. Okay, this is okay. Let's just. I clearly can't read this, so 84. 
I'm just gonna go right a bit. Oh, there we go. I finally found it. Oh, geez. Just gonna test if this really works because I'm gonna set health to 40. I'm just gonna check, make sure the health, I'm gonna check power up. So now let's just hit this. Yes, my health became 70, so I'm really happy. Again, you can see the loot X and loot Y have reset. Yeah, again, I've been lucky with this. Damage doubled. So now we're gonna, this is the end of this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna work on the bullets, the enemies, the enemy bullets. And you know, that's gonna be it for the second, ep uh, first episode of, you know, first part of this game. Thank you for watching and, you know, subscribe, like if you want me to do some stuff because the comment section has been telling me to make more guns for this game. So if my previous video, the sneak peek or this video gets five likes, I will do another one where I will extend the game with more guns. So, I mean, thanks for watching. Bye.